up, guys? It's me boxing, and I just finished up watching Jose Zepeda versus Kendo Costameda, which was a 10-rounder in the super lightweight division, a.k.a. the junior welterweight division. And in this fight, it showed Jose Zepeda's experience over Costameda and his overall boxing IQ and speed and power over the un undermatched Kendo Costameda. As Jose Zepeda was able to get the unanimous decision victory, I scored the fight personally 98-92, agreeing with two of the judges, and the other judge scored at 97-93, which also was not a bad score. Throughout the fight, um, I thought Zepeda maybe could have pushed the pace even more, but he did just about enough to get the job done and get the decision victory. He landed a lot of body shots, which I liked. He had some great body combos throughout the fight. And he looked pretty good. I'd say it was a mediocre performance, actually. And um, now um, Costameda is coming off of two defeats, which is his opponent. He's now 17-2, and two, while um, Zepeda is now improving to 32-2 and two with 25 KOs. And there was one statement in this fight that I heard um, Bernardo Osuna say that was while well, he was interviewing Costameda before the fight, he said, Zepeda has 25 knockouts because he knocked out only Mexican cab drivers. And that just reminds me of Greg Haugen when he fought Julio Cesar Chavez Sr. Um, in the 90s. And he got smoked in that fight after saying that statement. But I sort of wished maybe that Zepeda stepped it up a little bit. But as I said before, the fighters do whatever they want. If they could think they have enough to get the job done, they do whatever they want. And uh, Zepeda, as I said before, landed some great combos to the body. And um, they both landed about the same. I think the difference was like about 440 punches thrown for Zepeda and for like 29 thrown for um, Castameda. And overall, um, Castameda landed about like 92 shots to um, Zepeda's 149, I believe so. So it was about um, a 60-punch difference, I guess you could say. And, uh, yeah, you could see that evidently throughout the fight that Zepeda was landing the more effective shots, and he was just the better fighter. Because Casamata said before the fight he's going to pressure Zepeda, making him not breathe until the final bell sounds. And, I mean, that was just a little hard to believe, being that he's really inexperienced. He hasn't really beat anybody besides Yudi Bernardo. And that he's just not as polished. And um, what's next for Jose Zepeda? Maybe a big, like a bigger fight with a higher ranked opponent. And then maybe he could get a rematch with Jose Carlos Ramirez. As most people do think that Zepeda edged it out in that fight and they robbed him. As I heard the commentators um, from what I was watching, they were saying that in the Carl Jose Carlos Ramirez fight, they actually thought he was winning. Um, I know Andre Ward said that, and so did Timothy Bradley. I watched it on Top Rank ESPN. I'm not sure if you guys did. And, um, yeah, overall, I'd say it's an okay performance for Zepeda. He got the job done, getting the decision victory. And he looked good with some new combinations in the process. And, uh, yeah, that's all i got to say.